Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, few days back, I had actually uploaded a video discussing about my salary from various companies with respect to data science position. Now, in one of my company, I was actually getting a package of somewhere around 32 lakh rupees INR. And I told that my in hand was somewhere around 130K. That is 1 lakh 30,000 rupees INR monthly. Now there many people got confused, Chris, how this is possible that you're getting 32 lakh rupees INR as your CTC, but your in hand is very, very less. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about this, why I was getting less in hand. And yes, there was some money that was involved over there. I'll also talk about it. 130K was not the money that I was just getting monthly. After six months, I was also getting some more money. So all those things I'll actually discuss. So just understand that uh, and it is very much important guys for everyone to understand the CTC versus in hand uh, comparison. You know, when somebody says yeah, he's getting or he, she is getting 40 lakhs, 50 lakh rupees INR, that does not mean that the in hand will also be so much amazing because if you just divide by 12 with respect to like, if I, if you consider my example, if 32 divided by 12, if we do it, I should be at least getting some approximately around 2 lakh rupees INR, right? So let's discuss about this and CTC versus in hand is very much important for everyone. Uh, the discussion that you should be making with your HR should be in such a way that your in hand should be definitely more, you know. Now let me talk about this guys. So when I got the 32 lakh rupees pa package, you know, at that time somewhere around 4 to 5 lakh rupees were, um, you know, were kept completely aside based on the pro uh, based on your performance you will be getting that particular money every six months for the upcoming two years it was something like that so this is one of the conditions so if you just subtract five lakhs from 32 it will be somewhere around 27 lakhs okay and there were still some more things that were getting deducted that was not uh, you can just say that that was not part of in hand itself those are some of the components in ctc again i made a detailed video regarding ctc versus in hand but this is just a video to tell you the reason that why my in hand was very, very less. Now, after that, I <laughs> see, I, I some way I'm about to complete 10 years in IT industry. And, uh, you know, I do not, I do not add tax, you know, <laughs> as a part of in hand. So the money that I was getting somewhere around 130K INA monthly, you know, I was removing the tax part also. So tax was somewhere around 30 to 35,000 to 40 K, you know, 30 to 35,000 or 40 K. So just imagine that part I was actually removing. So in hand overall, I was actually getting 170 K probably. And from that tax money was also getting directed. I was, I was getting somewhere around 130 K. Now what happens that that particular component, which I told that was removed, right? Four to five lakhs based on your performance, you'll be getting every six months. So that part after every six months, I used to get some amount of money, but just understand there also the tax used to be get it, getting deducted a lot. Now, why I'm making this particular video is that just to make you understand the CTC versus in hand, whenever you are discussing with your HR manager, you should always try to increase this particular part that is in hand salary. I have also seen so many companies guys, which actually gives the entire amount with respect to in hand, there'll be only few possible deduction, um, including tax, you know, other than that, nothing is getting deducted. So this components that you will be discussing, I've also made a detailed video regarding the components in your salary. You should be continuously discussing with your managers, with your HR, so that you get the proper amount. Now, when a person says that I'm getting 100% hike, I'm getting 150% hike, just don't be happy with respect to CTC, but you should also be very much happy with respect to the in hand that you're actually getting. Okay. So one example I'll give you one of my friend, one of my juniors, you know, um, he made a switch from 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs, suppose INR. Okay. He made a switch. Then he told me, Chris, show oh, I've got this 50% hike. Then he told, okay, fine, that's fine. So how much in hand you are getting and now how much in hand you are getting. And there he was, when he was just seeing, he was hardly able to get around 25%. Okay. So this is the thing guys. So uh, always try to just not only focus on CTC, uh, always also try to focus on in hand that you're getting. And based on that also try to tell your uh, increase in the hike. And 
the best way if you prepare yourself in your mind and go and discuss with the hr it will definitely be beneficial for you you should definitely tell the hr that you should be getting good in hand then only you'll be able to accept the offer it's not like uh, you know uh, just by telling the ctc you should be happy and one more thing usually what happens that if probably your in hand or your entire ctc is going um, like it's too much when compared to your you know uh the previous salary itself you may also have an option to take a uh, one time joining bonus now this joining bonus bonus is also very much tricky guys uh don't feel very much happy if you're getting 1 lakh 1 and a half lakh or 2 lakh at once because they will also have a condition where then they'll say you that you have to at least work for 12 months and if you don't work for 12 months and probably leave in between that then you have to give back that jo- joining bonus amount and the main baddest thing that i feel in this joining bonus is that you get an amount right and probably you have to also deduct tax from that you know a good amount of tax you have to deduct and give uh, give the government itself but later on if you if you switch within the one year time frame you know within the one year time frame and probably go to the other company you have to return that money along with the tax this is the most baddest thing okay you have to return the money along with the tax so suppose if i'm taking 2 lakh rupees joining bonus i have given somewhere around uh, 30000 as the tax for that suppose if i leave within one year then i have to give back the entire 2 lakhs back so always think about how you can increase the in hand instead of ctc guys i've seen so many people uh, they just think only about ctc never do that discuss about all the components discuss about all the components that you will directly get in the hand itself and uh, regarding all the components i have actually discussed in one of my video in salaries also you can go and search for that you know all the components in a salary that is what the topic looks like and yeah i'll also be giving the link in the comment section so always make sure that each and every components and tell them that like, okay is it possible to give this component directly to me okay because see in a, in a company you know uh, if your salary is also very very high may they may also offer you stocks offers you know in amazon in bigger bigger companies it usually happens okay so this just to give you an idea so don't be worried uh, just by seeing that i i told you right uh, when i was actually paying i was getting somewhere around 32 lakhs and my in hand was somewhere around 130k and the, in that 130k also i did not include tax okay if i include tax it would have been 170k so you should also not include tax because any your tax will get deducted sir right so i hope you like this particular video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you wonder bye bye